Hi gang, Audrey Nelson here. Today I'm going to share with you how I shoot drink shots. I have a very long time secret that I've been doing for 40 years on how to make the liquid pop. That's something that I've seen no one else do. So I hope you enjoy this video. This is my basic setup. I have a window light, broad source of lighting. I have a couple of backgrounds and I have the items I need to do the shoot with. It's best if you have the following items available to do this photo shoot. I'm going to emulate the condensation that forms with a cold drink and you will see little water beads showing up. So to do that, I'm going to use the glycerin that I showed you earlier. You can actually get that at Walgreens, CVS, any pharmacy. Ask the lady where it is because who knows, you'll be hunting forever. Then I bought a little water bottle. And what I did is I did half and half, half glycerin, half water. Then I taped off the top edge and the bottom edge of the glass because condensation would only form where the actual drink was. So let me do that right now. I taped off my set because I don't want to get glycerin on my background. So here I go. I'm going to spray the glycerin right on the glass. Can't see it now, but little water beads are gonna show up when you see the drink. I'm also only spraying on the front, and I will tell you why later. The reason for the turkey baster is I don't wanna spill any liquid on my set, so I'm actually using it as a funnel because I had this and I didn't have a funnel. So you need to take your drink up to the line that matches the condensation we sprayed on there earlier. Right there. Okay. Now I'm going to add my little lemon slice garnish. I put a little slit in it with a knife before I stuck it on there. Much easier than trying to just push it on. This lighting secret that I'm going to share with you is something I've been doing for about 40 years. It's the only way I have found to make the liquid in the glass pop better. So what I've done is I've cut a piece of paper like so. And I'm going to actually put it behind the glass while I'm in front of the camera. So I can tell where it should go. I think you can see already it made the glass pop. The drink, I mean. But now I've got to cut the back off so it doesn't show. So I'm simply going to snip this back off like that. Oopsie, here we go. Yeah, right there. I see a little bit of it still. You just gotta kinda play with it till you get the all the paper hiding behind the glass. All right, just like so. Okay, that looks good. Okay, this is the way the lighting stands right now. And now I'm gonna divulge my little secret to you as to how to make drinks pop. I'm going to show you this lighting secret in a minute, but what I need to do is take a piece of heavy-duty aluminum foil 
and wrap it around this light source. Because I want this source to be focused. So I'm just making a little circular tent, basically. So the light will be focused. Here is that light source that we had before that I covered in aluminum foil. I'm going to turn it on now. I'm going to focus it right on that piece of paper. Make it even a little smaller hole so it's not bleeding onto the garnishes. Bring it a little closer. Right like that. That's what I want. Now let's go back to the original set here. Like so. There we go. Actually, I'm actually going to backlight it a little bit. I'm going to move it from a side light to a backlight. There we go. Try that. All right, much better. I like everything except for the fact that I have a dark ridge on my lemon. I'm simply going to fill with a piece of foam core board and a little clamp to prop it up with. It softened the shadow quite a bit on the background and filled in the lemon. Take it out of the scene, that always helps. All right. Got to wipe up one little drip here, probably from the lemon. And because I did not want this to fade, I kept a little piece of mint in on ice so I could just stick it on right at the end. Because there's nothing worse than a droopy piece of greenery. Quit. All right. I'm liking this. Right now, I'm going to shoot it. I hope that you enjoyed learning my little lighting secret. And if you did, hit the little subscribe button below and the little bell, and it will let you know when I have more videos. You have a blessed day.